Hi right dear, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen. Again, I am back with another dot well, and in this dot well, I am going to share with you uh, boat upstream and downstream problem. In general, this type of problem we have studied in lower classes, and uh, most probably we forgot. That's why probably because of that you are watching this video, and I know you are preparing for gate because the title said that uh, aptitude for gate preparation. And of course, in case of board, well, they did not ask many questions from this uh, topic, right? I got, I found only one or two questions. So, one question I wanted to share with you, probably this video will take a little more time. That means about 10 to 15 minutes. And only one question I will share with you in this video dot well, because I want you to understand, you to, you to grab the basic concept to solve this type of question. All right. So, in case of board problem, in case of board problem, what you require first that is understanding about the question, okay? And then if you are beginner, if you are beginner, then understand how to solve the question, grab the approach and implement the pretty same approach to solve few more problems related to it. More typical problem will solve by yourself, better you can think and better you can score in the examination okay so let's go for it uh, let's go for the question well i will create separate video regarding gate tips and tricks and competition examination tips and tricks in my upcoming uh, videos but uh, in this video i will not share more about that i wanted to share with you this question all so a man can row at 8 km per hour okay that means uh, the man can going by boat making maybe you can say okay a man can going by boat by boat suppose that and it's 8 km or maybe swimming you can say okay so 8 km per hour okay the person is rowing 8 km per hour that's it in still water that is important in still water the person is rowing in still water I think the you know marker has been finished so I have to the use the new one so 8 km per hour now in steel water this is this is a notable thing most notable thing is that this is going on in steel water right if it takes him thrice as long as to row upstream as to row downstream so this line is the key to solve the problem then find out stream velocity we have to find out stream velocity or in short we said we have to find velocity of the stream and unit must be notable that it that is kilometer per hour now thing is that what we have given that is uh, the man is rowing speed of the man of rowing is 8 kilometer per hour okay so suppose that this is a river okay and a person is person of the speed is rowing speed is 8 km per hour in the steel water steel water but suppose that the river is flowing like this so with the flow is known as downstream against the flow against the flow is known as upstream in case of downstream what will happen speed of the person or boat by plus speed of the stream in case of upstream stream of the boat minus stream of the speed of the stream simple if it is if it is going suppose that water is flowing like this and a boat is going against it that means speed of the boat minus flow of the water flow of the water speed is known as stream velocity if i am going with the flow that means it will add that means the boat speed will be increasing because of this stream speed if stream is having some speed okay so this is the basic approach but as i said to you most important line is here once we can understand this line we can solve the question just like that 
so what is about the line about this line let me read and uh, let me tell you also because if i read you will also understand what i am reading so if it takes him thrice as long as to row upstream as to downstream that means in the question it state that upstream is taking more time three times more time than downstream it is taking more time three times more time now if i if i will if i will compare time taking by this and time taking by this this one taking is thrice more time so if i wanted to if i wanted to make both the time same then i have to multiply with this time by 3 then only time taken by upstream is equal to time taken by downstream or i have another option too i can multiply 1 by 3 here also but both the thing are same you either you multiple here multiple 3 or you can multiple here 1 by 3 both are same so only one step can help you right so what we can do here time taken by downstream multiple 3 is equal to time taken by upstream now we know that speed is equal to distance by time therefore time is equal to distance by speed right now the same formula the same formula can help you to solve different problems but you need to know how to implement that formula in different problems to find out the right answer that is up to you how you can implement that formula in the problem to solve the problem right way so now now it's a matter of you know it's a, it's, it's a, now it's a simple you can solve this question because i have already solved it if you wanted to use your brain then just pause this video and think about it how you can solve this question now if not it's okay i am sharing with you don't worry so time taken by downstream okay when speed of the boat is like this if downstream i have already shared with you this right so time is equal to distance by speed distance by speed so let's say distance is x it's distance total distance let's say it's x so x by speed is word 8 it's downstream 8 plus 8 plus it is because of downstream therefore s is equal multiple 3 and here 1 by 8 minus s right but again this here would be x because distance by speed so x x get cancelled what we remaining here 3 by 8 plus s is equal to 1 by 8 minus s now i have to do what cross multiplication after cross multiplication what exactly we are getting 3 8 minus s 8 plus s so 24 minus 3 s is equal to 8 plus s so 24 minus 8 is equal to s plus 3s so 16 is equal to 4s so we can write s is equal to 16 by 4 so 4 km per hour the speed of the stream so uh, this is the way you can solve the problem and uh, hopefully you got some new concept about this boat and a stream up stream down stream problem so this is all about you know all about what you required to solve the question and if you understood this question then other questions would be quite easier to solve because this is not a simple just a simple question it is a typical question and the same pretty question has been asked in gate now you can understand gate is not like that they, they are going to give you say, very simple and formulative questions they definitely give some thing just like this relation so as soon as you will understand how to build relation like this from the question 
sooner you can start solving more complex problems quite easily. I hope you understand this question. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.